Today was the, where is it? Queens Comics Party in the rain. I was really lucky though. Um, I got some comic books, but I also got a parking space just down the street. So I'm walking back to the parking space and uh, I'm only gonna get a little bit wet and not completely soaked because it is raining, but it's not pouring right now. All day rain, depressing. Um, but it was a small show. Um, I think I looked through every box and uh, you know, found some good books. So I'll uh, go through them on the other side. It's Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on the other socials, Bronzeville underscore comics um, on Instagram. Also, Bronzeville underscore comics on whatnot. We do sales every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. If you've not yet signed on to whatnot, you can by using the description, uh, the link in the description of this video, and you'll get $10 off your first purchase, regardless of who it's with. Also, in the description of this video is a link to my eBay store as well as my email. So you can see from the intro, it was a rainy Saturday and raw. I ventured out and um, I went to the local show, the Queen's Comics, the Queen's Comic Party that they have about once a month um, in different locations. This seems to be a, a popular location. Uh, this was a show that was on the news, uh, you know, around the comic book community a couple of months ago because of um, some shenanigans uh, by a member of the community. But... Um, Nice, small show. I was able to hit up all the vendors. Let's take a look at the show floor. I have a whole box in there of more recent ones. Uh, yeah. The ones that have no bag in the wrong Yeah, we're trying to put them in the inside. Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at what I got. Um, so I, I didn't really uh, delve into any big books, um, but uh, I just, you know, was was I was able to dig through the boxes, found some um, nice little books, a couple of uh, run fillers, especially, um, you know, more uh, hard to find. So uh, first, I hit up uh, Streetside Anthony. He was there, had some new books. I picked up this uh, part of part two of Craven's Last Hunt um, newsstand ASM two ninety three. This book uh, and it does have some some tanning and some stain, but this Todd McFarlane cover of All Star Squadron forty seven, which has the origin of Doctor Fate retold, so some key early McFarlane. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, well, actually, I probably won't. Uh, this is a book. It is Lobo, number one, his first ongo or his first uh, solo book. This is a mini series. Uh, you can see it there. It's one of four. Um, so that's interesting. I picked this up. I just like the cover. I thought the, um, it, it, the condition of the book was pretty nice. Uh, Our Fighting Forces, number 128, with the Losers. Um, 
Nice Joe Kubert cover. This will go in a War Books uh, night. And then I picked up, um, it gave me a really nice deal on this book. It is a mid-grader, uh, but I'm trying to work on the run, which is going to be difficult. There are like a handful of books, like about three specifically that are really hard to get. Um, and this is Showcase 75, the first appearance of Hawk and Dove. Um, that's a PC book. Um, I am working on the Showcase run very slowly. Of course, 22 and 7 and 4 are going to be a challenge. First Green Lantern, first Challenges of the Unknown. The first Adam Strange is also in there. And, of course, number 4, the first Silver Age Flash. Uh, then I went to Billy Bombs. He had uh, some books I picked up. I thought this was a pretty cool little pickup, the Marvel Age um, anniversary book. What's interesting about this book is on the back uh, is the reverse of this, which is kind of unique amongst the uh, anniversary books. It's the uh, reverse image that matches up, so pretty cool. Um, I know that there are folks that try to get all of these picture frame borders. The Star Comics ones are the most challenging. Um, and then Wolverine number 67, the second appearance of Old Man Logan and the first appearance of Spider Bitch. Batman and Robin number one. This is from the Grant Morrison run. I pick this book up all the time. First Professor Pig. Um, I picked up a Ian was there. This Crisis on Infinite Earths, number eight, newsstand, The Death of Flash. And this is a pretty high-grade copy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this a clean and press and see. It's about $100 in a 9.8. These plat books were really hot around the time of the... Um, he did the art on the last six issues, Stephen Platt, of... Um, the Mark Spector Moon Knight run, and that is the final issue. So I am going to just make a note to put this uh, into a clean press pile. I've said it before, um, my, my presser is very slow. I am my presser. Um, I picked this up. Uh, DC Comics Presents 52... Newsstand, first appearance of Ambush Bug. That was a nice book to pick up. And question number one. This will go, also go in a spec box. I think there's a really good chance we're going to see the question at some point. Um, if you're not completely familiar with the question, but you saw the Watchmen movie, he's Rorschach. The, the, uh, he's the inspiration for Rorschach. Remember, Alan Moore took the heroes that Charlton had published and um, used them, reimagined them slightly, for Watchmen because DC uh, wanted to use the characters in uh, as ongoing characters. I think now they could just, uh, you know, they probably could have just done it as an Elseworlds, but it was before Elseworlds, and it would have been somewhat more interesting, but I think Moore was able to turn it and and uh, make the characters a little more unique. For instance, Rorschach uh, having the, uh, rather than just the blank mask, the Rorschach mask. Um, then I was grabbing some if I found them at the right price of Batman's 342, a book that I cannot pass up, Shade of the Changing Man, number one. Then I just like this cover, although I noticed after the fact that somebody had drawn in pen on it. Uh, Mystery in Space 99. This has a um, Space Ranger story and an Adam Strange story. So, um, yeah, somebody did some pen and they drew like an, an entire figure on the back. I also picked up this... Pretty decent copy from 1969 of Action Comics 378. Uh, this is a... Um, I'm just trying to work on the Action Comics run. I've kind of uh, used that as a reason to dig through the boxes. I'm only... With that, I think, I am only need 29 more issues to have every Action Comics from 300 up. Then... Power Girl, number one, uh, miniseries, her first solo series. And I've been picking this book up because it's been cheap whenever I see it. It's Ultimate Fantastic Four, number one. And with the new Ultimate Universe, Reed Richards uh, now plays a major role in that storyline of Reed Richards from this universe. I think this is an underappreciated book. 
Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number five. There's a little bit of a miswrap. You can't really see the number five too clearly there. It's kind of cut off. But this is the first appearance of Lady Shiva. I believe this is the first time I've had this book. Um, and that completes the run for me. So I have the, uh, I'm pretty sure I have the entire Richard Dragon run. Um, I like this Miracle Man cover. Uh, with Scott, a Scotty Young cover of Miracle Man. It's pretty fun. I might use that as a giveaway. Another Batman book I picked up. I went to another vendor. Um, I got the Batman. I also got this Strange Sports Stories. Um, Brave and the Bold, actually, it is. Number 48. Carmine Infantino cover and art on this uh, guy driving this old-timey jalopy. Uh, like he's, you know, going to be racing um, Penelope Pit Stop or something. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I just like the cover, and I thought the condition was pretty nice for a 1963 book. Um, I also uh, grabbed this, a Tencent Archie. I'm going to have Archie night in a couple weeks. Uh, another vendor, I picked up another Batman <clears throat> from the Bronze Age. Uh, a Shazam, I don't believe I have this. This is going on the PC. Witching Hour, that's a popular title. Um, this is a mid-grader, Witching Hour number 39. And then I like this Nick Cardi cover of Teen Titans 28. I'm not sure if I have this book or not, but, you know, maybe it's an upgrade, whatever. Uh, talking about the Action Comics run, I actually got one more, now down to 28. That I need, there's a 28 or 38. Uh, this is the first Supermobile. I'm not sure what, you know, why does Superman need a car? Uh, this a pretty high grade copy of Zatanna Special, her first solo book. A one shot, nice gray Morrow cover. This is a double sized book. It's a two dollar book from 1987. Nice thick one. This uh, funeral for a friend, Justice League of America or Justice League America 70 newsstand. I picked up this Doom Patrol number one. These were in dollar bins. Uh, Justice League International, number 12. This is the first cover appearance of Maxwell Lord. It's also the first appearance in DC continuity of Ice. Um, basically, the story begins where Beatriz de Casa, Green Flame, um, Fire, and um, Ice are getting their severance pay from the glo Global Guardians because they've been uh, split up. And um, then they later on join the Justice League. Another, this is a lower grade copy of question number one. And then I wanted a multiple of five for a dollar bin, so okay, 25 cent Marvel 2 and 1 mid grader with Black Widow. And then this vendor had, uh, and I believe I need this, this is a really tough series to um, catalog. It is 8 Ball by Dan Close. This is issue number four. Uh, in part because there are multiple prints, but also in part because not all of the issues of the series were comic book size. Some were magazine size, some were larger than magazine size, some were between magazine and comic book size. So I think some of the non-comic book size issues I have in like uh, my unusual shaped pile um, that aren't quite magazines, but whatever. Um... And then uh, another dealer. I think this was yeah five for five dollars five for twenty. So I got these for four bucks each. Um, Legends number three. This is the first appearance of the Suicide Squad of the that, the, that incarnation of the Suicide Squad. Um, Daredevil one eighty. Frank Miller. This is the issue before the death of Elektra. This also has a misrep. Look at the the one eighty up at the top there. And that blank space at the bottom. It it wasn't trimmed. Nobody, not too many people would have been trimming books from the 1980s. Talk about the Charlton characters. Captain Adam, number one. Like the question. Some rumors, I guess, is probably the strongest word I can use. Nothing confirmed that uh, we will see Captain Adam in the DCU. Um, and to be honest with you, you know, people are... Uh, are saying speculation is dead at the Marvel level. It's a little bit dead, but what 
happens is, and we saw it when Gunn made the announcement about a year ago of the projects he announced for the uh, Chapter 1 of the DCU, some of those first appearances, um, first appearance of Mr. Terrific, Skyrocket, the first appearance of Metamorpho, went way up uh, because these were books had not been specced on previously. Um, so, and, and sometimes, you know, some of the books, the... Uh, from the Wildstorm, like the Authority and uh, the characters from there really came out of nowhere. So, um, you know, if I see a cheap book in decent condition, um, I'll pick that up. Then uh, this is a pretty nice book, a 20 center Submariner, number 44 against the Human Torch. Uh, I believe that's a Gil Kane cover. I think. It kind of looks like Kane. But I'm not 100% sure. But for four bucks, hey. And then was this the same? Yeah, I yeah it was. Um, does have a couple, a little bit of damage at the bottom here. But it is a newsstand. Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. The death of Supergirl. This is, a, there was another vendor. This is a book that I, or one of the, there's like a triumvirate of books. I always grab. And that's Teen Titans number 40 from 2006 first cover appearance of Miss Martian. I've been grabbing these Miss Martian keys because I can usually get them for, you know, maybe a couple bucks. And again, if that character is ever used, because uh, Gunn did talk about using the animated projects that DC's used to maybe inform some, and it's established popularity of characters. Miss Martian was very heavily used in the Young Justice animated series, which... Um, if you've never seen that, it's worth a watch because it's not. If you're a DC fan, there's a lot of characters in there. And even I'm like, wait, wait, who is that? You're trying to line up. Oh, it's Tracy 13. You know, the daughter of Dr. 13. Um, yeah, a lot of characters like that. And then I picked this up, uh, some low key spec. This is a book, um, New Teen Titans 26, first appearance of Terra. Uh, there word that there's going to be a Teen Titans project in DCU, and it'll focus more or less on the new Teen Titans, because talking about animation informing um, the the movies. What animated show in the last twenty years for DC has been more popular than Teen Titans Go? I mean, you could go back to you know. The Batman animated series and the stuff from the 90s, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, great stuff. But Teen Titans Go! is a cultural phenomenon. You talk to anybody, I would say, under the age of 25, they know what Teen Titans Go! is. And remember that the new Teen Titans, which started in DC Comics Presents 26, with these characters we see here... Um, Three first appearances, Cyborg, Raven, Starfire, all of those are primary characters in Teen Titans Go, right? Along with Robin and Beast Boy. Every, all young people know those characters. They had their own animated feature-length film, theatrical release. Um, so it is a very popular brand for DC. And it would make sense for them to take those characters and use them now. We, there was the Titans series on HBO, but it doesn't seem to me, based on what we've seen so far, that Gunn and Saffron have had a whole lot of interest in distancing, giving some distance in terms of time um, from the characters that we've recently seen on screen. Right? We're getting new Superman right away, new Batman right away. Obviously, those are exceptions. Um, but I think that uh, even though we saw Titans, we saw um, Cyborg was in the Doom Patrol TV series. I do think we can see these characters very quickly again, uh, especially the, the Titans. Those are mainstay characters. Now, who's the Robin in the Teen Titans? Is it Dick Grayson or is it Damian Wayne? All indications are we're getting Damian Wayne in Bat the Brave and the Bold movie. At least that's what it's called now. 
Superman Legacy, Superman, we don't know what it will be called when it is released. But um, I do have some some belief in that. And if you want to adapt one of DC's better storylines, the whole terror storyline, the Judas contract, crazy. And that would be absolutely bonkers to adapt on screen. Obviously, if you're familiar with the story, there's an aspect to it that is quite troubling. And um, these are like still Bronze Age books, right? The, the New Teen Titans is early 1980s. All pre-crisis. There's some stuff in, in the DC Comics that you're never going... I don't think you're ever going to see on screen. Because, um, you know, there is... we. Terra joins the Teen Titans um, as as a spy. We don't realize it until later that she's infiltrating them. And then Changeling, who we know better as Beast Boy, that's what he was known before and is known as now, uh, but at the time he was known as Changeling, falls for her, falls head over heels in love with her, right? And she plays that up, but she's really a teenager, a child, having an intimate relationship with Deathstroke. So th that I remember reading that book and that scene where you realize, I mean, nothing graphic is shown. It's kind of all after the fact, but it's very um, clear that, but you know, Deathstroke is a villain. Um, and there's a severe lack of moral compass. I don't think we can see that on film. That would, I think, be too shocking for audiences. Just like when the most recent Aquaman film came out, they could not adapt the story. The story from the 1970s where Black Manta kills Aqua Baby by suffocating him to death um, in air. So um, anyway, I, I think they could use Terra. I mean, you could make one change to it how young are the Titans going to be? Are they going to be teens? You know, or and will she be old enough where you eliminate the really creepy aspect of that uh, sequence in the film? And then one last book I picked up from a guy who's a brand new, um, brand new seller, and we had a, quite a long conversation about collecting, and he had some questions about selling. Um, just trying to fill in the Eternals run from Comico. Um, weirdly, though. And he said this was an original pickup of his. He, go, he was looking for newsstands. But this this is not from the manufacturer. This looks like wherever he bought it from, they put the sticker on. But eh, for a few bucks, um, and just to kind of fill out the run, that's what it was. So um, a, a small amount of pickups. But, uh, you know, it was more, and I've said this before on the channel, for me, it's more getting out there and... Um, having conversations with like-minded people you know every table i was you know talking to the vendors and um talking about comic books and what we're interested in you know these are people that that i've come to know uh in many cases so uh it was it was a fun show from that perspective i didn't get find anything that's going to um allow me to retire early <laughs> But uh, some good books and uh, just a couple of the eight ball I was happy to fill in for the personal collection. Uh, and I, I had my, my CLZ app and I was looking at books uh, that I needed to fill in runs. And um, I found one of them. Uh, I haven't, you know, there, there are runs I need to fill in. I think the bigger shows where what I really feed on are the ones where you find somebody with organized boxes. And it's like, oh, I need issues. 32 and there it is um i also need to organize and and i was told that it used to get it was getting more organized behind me and it's getting worse i think it's just because of that box there and there's some piles there but we're getting there you know the, the shelving is kind of organized i had to move some books off the floor because of the hard, the heavy rain um the patio door is right there so i didn't want water to seep in and damage any books that I had on the floor in organized piles, organized chaos, as it were. So um, anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by. 
Uh, I picked up a few little books. Let me know what you think. Take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.